pile. So I found a better way to connect the grounding rod to the generator. I went back over to the hardware store and I talked to the fellas there. One of the older fellas was an electrician for 20 years, retired. So uh, he helped me with this. And basically, uh, I told him in the manual it said 12 gauge wire or thicker. And uh, he recommended this wire here. I think this was an 8 gauge. It's uh, a lot thinner than the other wire. So like uh, this was the other wire that we used. And then this is the new wire. But uh, he said this thinner wire would do the job. Especially since that's what they recommended. Especially since that's what they said in the manual. So 12 gauge or thicker. So this was an 8 gauge. Okay. Looks like you wrapped it up in black tape or something here. Okay, so the main thing with this. So the main thing with this new video is the connector that goes onto the ground. So there's two in the package. It says here on the back, to avoid electrical shock, injury, always de-energize system before working on circuits or components. And then down here it says 8 gauge, 6 gauge, 2 gauge. Uh, there was various sizes. So if you need a different size. I think the thicker wire will probably fit in here too. I needed another piece of wire anyways because uh, the other one wasn't quite long enough. So there's what a connector looks like. They're both the same. Okay, so this part connects to the generator, and then you put your wire through here. So let's go ahead and do that. So the screw just goes in here okay so here's the connector the screw just goes in here make sure you put the grounding wire in there that's the wire that goes to the generator itself Tighten this down. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna see if I put it like this, it's gonna cover up the ground sign. So I think I'll just leave it sticky up. That way it doesn't cover up the ground. Lined. Okay, and then loosen up this screw. 
Yeah, the thick wire will go in there. So if I wanted to still use the thick wire, these will also work. Yeah, there's plenty of room there. Okay. So then we we put we can put the smaller wire in there and just tighten it down. Of course my screwdriver is too big. These are aluminum. I think that's what it says here. And then the other end. We have this guy on it. We went over this one in, in the other video. And just so we complete the video here, we'll go, we'll go ahead and uh, show how this works again. Make sure they're tightened so you get a good ground. Okay. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Okay, so just to show you this again. So there's the connector on the generator. Now you could leave this on if you wanted to, you know, if it's out of the way. But uh, I only have to use mine a couple of times a year, so I take it off, store it in the shed. Now, okay, so I would never run it up on this box because it would just rattle off okay this is I just left it up there I just left it up there for the video for the demonstration so we wouldn't have to work down on the ground normally I just set it right down here on the ground and then the uh, and then the ground cable just goes along there and it's right over here by the edge of the shed one last thing is uh, I had planned on putting my ground my grounding rod over here that's why I bought the shorter cable but I was thinking I might electrify the fence you know 
if I happen to get a short and it goes down on the ground. But I had asked the electrician at the hardware store yesterday, and he said, no, he said, uh, there's no way you could electrify the fence. He said, it, the, uh, the ground just doesn't work like that. It just comes out of the generator and down and in, into the ground. And then I also asked them about a coated wire. Like, would you get shocked if you were touching this while there was a problem? And he said, no. Nah. He said, it doesn't work like that. But uh, he said you could use a coated wire if you wanted to. And uh, the only coated wire he had was in a roll, a small roll. You buy, the, you buy like 50-foot roll for... 20 bucks. He didn't have the real thick stuff though. I think the thickest one he had was the 12 gauge, which would have been fine. He said the coated, it really wasn't necessary. So he said this is normally what they use for grounding houses and things like that. And that works fine. Okay. See ya. Bye.